good morning students Are you able to hear me yes sir okay so we are going to see about microwave ovens in this class and i think with this we should be wrapping up unit 4 so this is the last topic in unit 4 we are going to see about microwave oven so you uh, as we all know microwave ovens are available in uh, all the restaurants and all even houses it has become a part of the important appliance so you know that uh, with, this, uh, with respect to cooking every era has contributed many ideas to the kitchen from open stove so in those days we'll be using uh, open stove or the closed one now from wood to oil previously they were using wood then they were using oil kerosene then they were using coal then electricity and now we are using gas so now after gas what is the thing now uh, microwave ovens are here to help us in this part the so microwave ovens are considered a luxury so previously it was considered luxury you know, for a long time people thought that it is just used by uh, upper class people or just they were used for reheating food only you know if this become uh, it has lost its heat. If you want to eat it, eat it fresh meat, then they thought microwave ovens would be serving only that purpose. But uh, as the modern life got faster and busier, microwave cooking has been extremely helpful and efficient preparation of food in the shortest possible time. So time, temperature, freshness of cooking, so everything is a constraint now. And with the busy life, uh, being surrounding the people every day and keeping them very busy and they do not have time to spend enough time for cooking these microwave uh, ovens are going to be coming into the picture and they are going to help them in uh, cooking the food in the best possible time and also in the efficient manner with the food is being prepared okay so microwave so what is so before uh, uh, starting with microwave ovens we will know what is a microwave the so microwave uh, is a signal that has a wavelength of one foot or less so you know the basic relation, uh, C is equal to F lambda. So this is the basic relation you have studied in physics. C is the velocity of light, F is the frequency, and lambda is the wavelength. So microwave uh, signals have wavelength of one foot. One, one foot that is approximately 31 centimeters. So if you convert that into the frequency, it comes around 984 megahertz. So generally, what is the definition of microwave is any frequency above 1 megahertz or above 1000 megahertz is considered to be microwaves. So they are very, very high frequency signals and uh, the and the practical upper limit, they go up to 300 gigahertz. So they start from 1G, 1 gigahertz and they go up to 300 gigahertz while the wavelength becomes very, very small. You know, uh, C is equal to F lambda in that relation. F and lambda are inversely related. So if frequency is going to increase, the wavelength is going to decrease, right? So as the frequency is 300 gigahertz, the wavelength is going to become smaller and smaller. The device is also becoming very small. When the device becomes small, it cannot handle so much amount of power. Because uh, when you want to dissipate or handle high power, you need the area of the device has to be big. So the area depends on frequency. The so frequency, as you go higher and higher up in the frequency, the area of the device becomes small. So this limits the power handling capabilities of the device. Okay. So I cannot use a microwave oven at a very high frequency, 300 gigahertz. The size will become compact. But what I'm going to lose, I cannot handle very high power inside the device. And for cooking, you need relatively a very high power to cook all the material whatever you're going to keep inside the microwave oven, right? So the practical range of frequency of microwave is from 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. And the 300 gigahertz upper bound and what they say is at 300 gigahertz, the devices are becoming very, very smaller. And the power hand capability is also becoming very, very small. So microwave, uh, you know that whatever uh, signals which we transmit from a mobile phone, everything is microwave. So they spread out through the atmosphere and disappear without effect. So you cannot simply see that because the frequency is uh, very, very high for our eyes to actually locate a microwave signal. Okay, so we cannot uh, hear, see the microwaves as they spread out from a mobile phone and they propagate to the atmosphere. So microwave ovens often use this uh, 2.4 gigahertz frequency to cook so the 2.2 gigahertz correspond 12.5 centimeters wavelength so the uh, 
wave length correspond to 12.4 gigahertz to 12.5 cm wave length and this frequency is very very calm this frequency is a very very common to use frequency it is called as ism band industry scientific and medicine so it is a very very common band and for this frequency we need not uh, Uh, obtain the license for using this frequency because government is going to give this frequency free of cost for industry scientific medical and other commercial applications so microwave ovens are also going to have they operate in this frequency 2.4 gigahertz and microwave uh, generally uh, you in the inside a microwave oven you need to have a device to produce the microwave right so if you are uh, microwave maybe see here this is the sample example of microwave oven so in this microwave ovens the usually you will have a device which is going to produce the microwaves it will be either present in the top or on the side but here you see it is on the side so sometimes the microwave producing device will be at the top okay that is called as magnetron so microwaves are going to use magnetron magnetron is an oscillator which is going to produce the microwave and microwaves have excellent heating property that is the reason why we are going to use them in microwave oven so specifically they are going to produce microwaves having high energy and these energy high energy microwaves when they are going to be uh, incident on the food the food gets heated up and in that in that manner your uh, food will be getting cooked up. okay so it is just like how you uh, cook your uh, mic uh, food in electric cooker same way there you are going to apply current but here we are going to heat the food by microwave energy and how microwave is produced from these devices called magnetron so you have a uh, so the inside the microwave oven so the microwave enters the cooking area through the openings inside the oven and uh, you have a tray Of which you will have a vessel in which the food is cooked. These microwaves will be directly focused on the food, and the microwaves cannot pass through the metal walls of the oven. The metals are going to reflect microwaves. That is the reason why you, they close. The, they have the microwave oven door should to be made of metals. So microwaves will be stuck inside the oven. They cannot escape and come out, and but they can penetrate through glass, porcelain, paper, and come out. Of which microwave safe cooker. That is why when you are, whenever you are going to use microwave oven, you need to have a specialized cooking ware for that. So microwave safe cooker has to be used. And what is microwave safe cooker? So it should be made up of. Uh, it should be made up of glass, porcelain, and paper. And uh, the the glass, porcelain, paper. These materials uh, they uh, they will pass microwave inside. But uh, other materials cannot pass, and metals will reflect the microwaves. Okay, so microwaves do not heat the cookware. The cooking vessels will eventually get hot from the heat generated by the food. So they really will be heated, and they will not heat those uh, cookware which is made up of glass or porcelain. But when you take out, uh, because of the food which is hot, the vessel also will become hot, just like how we saw an induction stove. The food will be hot, but the induction, the cookware on which you are going to cook, that is not going to become hot. So same way here also, the logic is, the food will be cooked by microwave, but because of food being hot, the cookware also tends to be hot. So more reflectors are going to be present on the left and back side to concentrate the microwave energy on the food. So more reflectors are going to be there so that you can focus the energy on the food. So in state of art microwave ovens, we are having these two types: uh, or wave reflector system and dual wave emission system, so that the food is uniformly cooked. See, the, you have to uniformly cook the food. For that, you have to uniformly provide the microwave. I right? see here, we have uh, just a second.
So here we see the two types. One is wave reflector system. Uh, you see here from here the uh, micro your microwaves are going to come. And the uh, second type is going to be a dual wave emission system. So, the dual wave emission system, you see, you are having uh, uh, this type of uh, diagram where the emission happens from two openings. Okay, you have two two openings from where microwave will be emitted, and it will be uh, by successive reflection, it will be hitting your food, and by uniformly, every particle of the food will be. Heated in a uniform way. So you know that microwaves, as I told you, microwaves will reflect off the metal components in the oven. So that is the reason why the entire microwave oven is placed inside. Uh, it will go into have a metallic cover. So a metallic cover uh, that will not send your microwaves outside. So it will be present only on the inside. So these metals prevent the escape of microwave energy and all the microwave activity is going to happen only inside the oven. So when the door is open, or the oven is switched off, the production of microwaves stops instantly. Suddenly, if you open the door, the microwave, uh, the production of microwave starts stops immediately. Or when the oven is switched off, also the microwaves will not be uh, produced. Okay, so these uh, microwave ovens are the power is going to be very very high. That's why we cannot, it should not be, our human body should not be exposed to these heavy, high intense microwave. Uh, of, uh, so that's the reason why when you open the microwave oven or when the oven is switched off, microwave is not produced. Okay, so the, the, the reason for using this microwave uh, devices is the transit time. The transit time is time taken from electrode. To travel from or time taken by the electron to travel from one electrode to another electrode. So this transit time is going to be very, very fast in a microwave oven. This transit time is going to be very, very fast. That is the reason why we have a high frequency microwave. And see, this is the sample uh, diagram of a magnet or an oscillator. This is going to produce our uh, microwaves. Okay, you see here a lot of cavities you have, and you have a central cathode and surrounded by so many anodes. Okay, you have a central cathode surrounded by so many anodes. So you see all these heaters will heat up the cathode. Cathode will produce the anode. Cathode will produce the electrons, and the electrons from cathode will travel to anode, and it is collected by the anode. It is collected at the anode. Okay, electrons from uh, cathode will travel to anode and it is collected at the anode. See, from the here, you can see the output. So, it is a very, it's a cylindrical structure. Okay, so the word magnetron uh, uh, identifies with the magnet and electron. It is because of the magnet, magnetic effect and the movement of electrons. And you have a very powerful magnet which is going to change the direction of flow of your electron. So, you have, usually you have uh, not less than six or not more than 16 anodes. So these uh, circles, what you see here, are going to be anode, and the only one cathode you have, which is a cylindrical cathode. Okay, because of the voltage you supply to the cathode, electrons will be produced, and they'll be attracted by the anode, and when all the, collectively, you collect the power from all the anodes, you get a very high intense microwave power, okay? So that is the reason, and uh, you, the spacing constraints, other thing, are there. What is the size of the anode? What is the size of cathode? All these spacing constraints are uh, in such a way designed in such a way that uh, it is going to emit the waves in the microwave range. And it, uh, the operation of uh, microtron is called as pi mode of operation. So pi mode means when you have four, uh, when you have four anode, each one is differing by pi by four angles or forty five degrees. So when you totally, when you add all the phase angle, it is going to be 180 degrees. Okay, that is the logic.
and uh, for transmitting this uh, microwave from one place to another we need a system for transmitting that that is called as waveguide the waveguide is going to be helpful for transmitting the microwave produced inside the cavity to the actual microwave oven so microwave energy is carried by the waveguide through the reflection along the inner walls so this microwave uh, uh, energy is transmitted through the waveguide waveguide is made up of metal so you know metals will not uh, escape out the microwaves right so in that case if you see in that way so metals will reflect the microwaves and thus in such a way by multiple reflection the microwave energy propagates in along the waveguide okay so it is just like a resemble a coaxial cable with the central conductor remote so it will just look like a coaxial cable okay and we will not go in depth into the construction and other things of waveguide because it is purely electronics theory so i don't want to concentrate on it because we just need to understand how microwave oven is going to work okay so this is possible the waveguide that is uh, okay by uh, transforming microwaves into 3d the system enriches that every inch of it is cooked is immersed in 3d microwaves so sir, uh, see here as it is shown in the figure every inch of the food which is exposed to microwave is cooked so if there is no place inside the cookware where microwave is not there every every place inside the micro inside the oven is being uh, touched upon by microwave resulting in the food cooked more evenly okay so the block diagram of the microwave oven is given see here the main plug and socket are a pin three pin three pin uh, i'm going to use a three pin uh, consisting of main plug and socket so 250 volt and 50 amp fuse i'm going to use it the interlock switches you have a series interlock switch and you have a shunt interlock switch so interlock switches are linked to the oven door the so power will be applied to the transformer only when the oven is closed so only when the oven is closed these switches will be turned on and power will be applied to the microwave oven otherwise the oven will be in off condition at least one interlock switch is in series with the primary transformer hence a spot of dirt in the relay rail cannot turn on when the door is open so when the door is open the power is not given to the uh, microwave okay there is no internal uh, in at interlock across the power line so it normally remains open if the door alignment is not correct also you uh, will the microwave is a fail safe device so it will be it is a very uh, full proof device it will not work even if the door is tightly misaligned or the door is completely open it will detect those things easily and it will ensure that the safety of the person who is operating the microwave is also taken care so you know i am going to use a transformer so voltage induced in the transformer is 2000 volt and 250 milliamp for normal domestic ovens so 250 uh, you know that it is 250 volt 230 volt what we get it is stepped up to 2000 volts in the step up transformer and uh, the high voltage is fastened directly by the transformer frame a high voltage high wave double half wave doubler configuration is used for the rectifier the peak inverse voltage of 12000 volts so you have a breeder capacitor other uh, thing the thermal protector is there so when the primary when the temperature is going to rise the primary current is going to reduce so in case of any abnormality the it senses inside the microwave oven the, the complete circuit is cut off and ensures that the safety is always the main thing okay so the controller in the microprocessor is with the chip with the clock so you have a keypad switches and you can actually you can set the cooking time you can it can sense the moisture and temperature and sets the power levels and runs the display so there are three power levels for high the microwave generator remains on continuously for medium it remains on for 10 seconds and off for 10 seconds for low it remains on for off for on for 5 seconds and off for 15 seconds so this uh, three basic control things we are going to have high means continuously on on medium means 10 seconds on 10 seconds off lower means it's going to be 5 seconds on 15 seconds off so completely the microcontroller is going to activate the entire microwave oven the so most microwave oven feature at least is one timer with an alarm so we have older uh, appliances use mechanical timers but nowadays electronic timers are used which will clearly display how much time is there to for the food to get uh, cooked it will just it will do like a countdown it will clearly say how much time is there for the good 
peak over so it will count down from assume you have 12 minutes as the time so it will count down from 12 and it will uh, ensure that it will go till zero okay and uh, the control to the from the keypad everything is given by the controller from the keypad whatever you give us input is given to digital circuit that is taken care by microcontroller and that is going to be given as the display unit and you have an alarm to indicate that whether the put is completely cooked or not and you have a digital timer inside the microcontroller which will ensure that uh, the time timing is run properly with the one second uh, gap or one second uh, Uh, timer we use a one hertz square wave so one hertz you know on the inverse of frequency is time so if you take inverse of one hertz you will have one second so one second time is reference as we kept when that is been used by the microcontroller the so most microwave oven feature has placed a one timer with an alarm so you can have a minimum one timer will be there with an alarm in all the appliances and that's what i said mechanical timers were used but modern uh, the microwave ovens they are equipped with digital timers or electronic timers with the help of the microcontroller so everything is going to lie with the microcontroller and the microcontroller what you are going to use should be highly intelligent so we are going to use the microcontroller uh, ibm so ibm pc or it uh, most of the microcontroller the microcomputers which are used in ibm pc or apple macintosh are almost uh, used in half of our homes so these micro computers can perform a wide variety of tasks so more specialized micro computers called micro controller which is a embedded device so it is going to have all the required uh, chips inside for controlling an application so uh, compared to micro computers micro controllers are uh, application oriented chips okay so micro computers are called as micro processors which are inside your pcs and laptop microcontrollers are available inside the application devices which are going to um, do some controlling uh, feature okay so they are used in wide variety of control applications such as appliance control metal working machines vcrs automated teller machine photocopier automobile ignition systems anti lock brakes medical instrumentation and many more so such a micro uh, pro controller is going to be used in a microwave oven control system so the block diagram is typically given you can see everything is there inside the micro computer you have keyboards to type give input to your micro computer you have memory storage in arithmetic and logic unit arithmetic logic unit registers timing and control for your displays and all these things are memory and you have output ports where you can have lcd display or the microwave generator so it will give commands the microwave generator to start or stop or uh, start just start or stop generating the microwaves okay so it is a very pl- basic block diagram of the which uh, microcontroller which is available inside the microwave oven see all the blocks are not required for microwave oven but it is general diagram whichever blocks are needed it is customizable you can remove it or you can add and then with minimal settings you can actually process with minimal settings you can actually process your uh, microcontroller okay so types of microwave oven uh, two types of microwave ovens are there the first one cooks by microwave while second one is a microwave convection oven which is a combination of ovens so while microwave ovens remain popular the combination the second type is totally into the market it is not that much popular but the uh, there is uh, there will be time when all these uh, uh, microwave convection ovens will also be helping in cooking the most food cooks wonderfully well by moist cooking method in microwave ovens but certain food requires dry heat so, so in order to turn it crisp, crisp and brown that is when the second type of oven will so when moist cooking is done by first type of oven dry cooking by producing dry heat and cooking is done by second type of oven and some some latest models have the combination mode where the food will be cooked by both the methods by normal method and the dry heat method so you can see in 50 point you can see in the figure what you see the microwave along with the grill can be used simultaneously cook for grilling uh, you know it is for uh, moist cooking and when you second mode when you do the cam campbell function when you use a cam b function which is a combination you can go for uh, brown and crispy texture of the cooking so you are going to have a dry cooking okay and uh, in multi grill model 
in multiple model as you see here you can see that uh, it has several heaters placed at different places top bottom top bottom left and right or front and back together with a convection fan forming a cube heater so it will as though look like the entire cube is completely heated so this not only cooks your food evenly but also saves your time so it allows you to do your own heat setting and helps to perfect get the perfect crispy base at the uh, and crispy top at the same time so you have uh, so many heaters around the food and you have a convection fan to ensure that the microwaves are distributed uniformly so the bottom of the food is uh, crispy top of the food remains over crispy so that when you eat it you can feel the crispness so rapid microwave cooking requires excellent provides excellent quality of food so the food quality is going to be excellent this quick method of cooking uses a minimum quantity of water so it retains most of the nutrients in addition it preserves the natural flavors while enhancing the color and texture of the food the microwaves are non ionizing so it will not charge whatever uh, uh media it encounters it's a high frequency short wave electromagnetic waves they are uh, they are attracted by the moisture in the food within the oven for cooking that is the how, that is the reason why they penetrate into the food and start cooking they penetrate the food surface and causing the moisture molecule molecules to vibrate so this vibration generates heat which then cooks the food by conduction so it is going to be purely conduction way of uh, cooking the food so the food is cooked from the outer surface to the inner core so the cooking starts from the outermost surface of the food then uh, it goes to the inside uh, okay and uh, see here the features of uh, microwave uh, Uh, what is the advantage of microwave to an electrical system? First of all, it saves time. The system is uh, very clean. It preserves natural flavors. It so retains most of the nutrients. Enhances the color and texture of the food. And system can be combined with a conventional or heating process. So you have uh, a lot of things. First one you see that this is the diagram of a microwave oven, whatever, and you have the remote and you have the display. so we are, we are going to see each one so first one is door latch you can see here so when the door is closed it will automatically lock the shut if the door is open the oven while the oven is open the magnetron will be automatically switched off so second one is door seal see here the door seal number 2 so if the door seal maintains the microwave within the oven cavity and prevents microwave leakage the door latch is for uh, turning on microwave if accidentally you are going to open the oven and door seal is to prevent the leakage next one oven cavity that is where your uh, from where your microwave is going to be generated spatter shield protects the microwave from flashing off or slashes of the cooking foods so you can see that four four is here so when sometimes when the food gets flashed upon it will be ensure that the microwave uh, oven outlet is uh, not uh, affected by the splashing a safety interlock system it prevents uh, the oven from operating when the door is open it is at 5 so you can have we can see here at 5 okay this 5 is safety interlock system and door release button pushing this button stops the oven operation and opens the door glass cooking tray made of heat resistant glass this tray must always be kept in proper position before operate do not cook directly on the tray so you have to serve, put a square over that and you have to start cooking supports the cooking tray roller gates supports the cooking tray door screen it allows the viewing of food you can you can see that the glass uh, cooking tray will rotate ensuring that microwaves are uniformly present over the entire food we have a time set pad you set the cooking time and present time display it will display the cooking time power level and present time speedy cook you can uh, use this option you can use uh, popcorn the cooking the, you can use this option popcorn cooking the so you have you can see all this popcorn soup muffins so accordingly you have a setting for each type of food popcorn for muffins for baking potatoes for reheating dinner plates for reheating soup for reheating beverage for reheating frozen pizza used to blanch fresh vegetable we used to add on one touch cooking used to remove one touch cooking used to defrost foods used to set the power level used to set lock and auto settle sterilize bottle used to stop the oven operation or do defrost used to start as selected operation so so, so many functions are there you can choose them uh, whatever is needed 
you can see you can choose whatever is uh, uh, needed and according to the type of you are going to cook so you have wires so you understanding green is going to be the neutral black and red are going to be the neutral green is the earth black and red are going to be the li- neutral and life so as the colors of the appliance may not correspond to the colored marking so you must understand that the the colored green must be connected to the terminal which is marked as earth or the symbol is green the black which should be connected to the letter n and the uh, live wire should be connected to the letter l so ensure we have you have the green amps so socket okay the application appliance must be earthed properly if you don't earth the appliance properly you can expect shock okay and the safety reason do not oven use the oven for drying cloth paper or any non food item because it may catch fire okay do not use the oven without food items this could damage the oven and cause smoke emission just simply if you run the oven it will damage it do not use the oven for storage of papers etc so don't use it for storing by accidentally if you turn on your oven everything will burn and your microwave oven gets damaged do not open the operate the oven without the glass tray be sure it is properly ro- placed on the rotating base and few removal of caps on it when you cook put in the sealed bottles because plastic will be completely melted do not put foreign material between the oven surface and door which could result in leakage of harmful microwave energy do not use recycled paper products of cooking because there might be impurity which might cause the paper to burn use recommended and commercially packaged popcorn because uh, it produces a lower yield than conventional popping so do, do not use oil unless it's made by the manufacturer so do not pop popcorn longer than more time so there might be a chance it could catch fire do not cook any food surrounded by membranes such as egg yolks potato chicken liver without piercing them so we have to pierce them and cook otherwise it will not get cooked properly should the microwave oven emit fire keep the oven open oven door shut switch off the appliance and disconnect the mains so when the flame food containers are used in the oven be sure to check the cooking process always stir and shake baby foods prior to using it always test the temperature of food which has been heated in the microwave before serving especially to children or elderly people okay so cookware you have to definitely you cannot use conventional stainless steel or metal cookware you have to use uh, cookware which is made up of uh, uh, containers made of uh, metal or never to be used because you know metals will reflect microwaves which will result in uh, uh, maybe uh, the breaking down of the cookware so metals will reflect the microwave so no they will no food will enter no microwave will enter the food so it will cause in arcing a condition where you have a shock okay it will even burst your oven so you have to use glass cookware mostly for cooking your uh, operating problems uh, some specific problems are there what happens if your oven is not starting what happens if your oven is not heating what happens if error is display incorrect time is displaying what happens if problem is flashing so all these uh, things are uh, problems which are faced under cooked over cooked improper defrosting power cord is plugged in door is closed for that they are giving what the possible solution check to child locker and all these problems and possible solutions if nothing is working out you can contact the nearest service center and ensure that your uh, doubts are clarified and carrying and cleaning the so wipe the oh, wipe the oven inside with a soft cloth never use uh, uh water completely for cleaning so you have to dry wash dry clean it never use rough powders or pads gently you have to use soft cloth excessive oil splatters will be difficult to remove if it lives for many days so you have to keep it very very clean and the interior of oven is not clean then it will accumulate grease and food stains which will shorten the life of the stirrer pan as some other parts that what they are saying if you don't clean it properly it may shorten the life of your uh, oven and special care for best performance and safety the in the inner door panel no one front frame should be free of food or grease build up so you have to clean it properly so always after cleaning the control panel touch stop clear this will clear any entries that might be entered accidentally while cleaning the panel okay metal uh, rack care so metal rack may get hot during cooking so if you are going to use a metal rack for cooking food you have to use uh, 
uh, whenever you are not cooking please remove the metal rack because uh, it might become very very hot so do not use browning dishes or metal rack so do not run the empty oven with the metal rack which you might get a shock so these are the some of the concepts which are used in a microwave oven